Credo is a place where you can develop the best version of yourself into as much of a genuine person as you can, outgoing and friendly to other people, and it's just really inspiring to be around people who are who have the same goals musically and like personally as a person. Oh, Maria could not wait to get back to the Credo environment. Before she came, she had a great love for music, and now I think she truly has a passion for music. Joy is a perfect word for it for me. Like it's a joyful place. It's hard work, but it's a lot of fun. It's just really nice to kind of be in a familiar place with great people and a really positive energy, which you don't always find at a lot of other music festivals. So that's one of the things that I'm really happy about. As a counselor this year, I'm really hoping to be able to help new students, especially introverted students, because I remember how scared and nervous I was when I came. Um, so help them connect. Being away from college after my first year, I feel like I have a lot of sister reserves saved up. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to kind of taking care of people in a way that like it's almost something I kind of have to do. John is definitely excited about being back at Credo. I think he has uh, a, a little bit less uh, trepidation. He didn't even get out of the parking lot before he found a friend and rushed right in. And by the time I got in, he'd taken off and already, you know, the next time I saw him, his instrument was in a locker. He's ready to go. He's excited. All the way here, he talked about uh, the two teachers he was going to have and I uh, remember them from last year and was absolutely looking forward to it. I just remember coming the first day and just with a whole bunch of people I didn't know and thinking, wow, I'm more comfortable with these people than I am with some of my friends just because we all enjoy music and we all had something in common. The place is so special. Um, there are no distractions. So the kids, they really get to know each other very well and they build deep connection during a very short period of time. It feels really great to be back at Credo. Um, kind of feels like coming home for me. Definitely. It feels different coming back to Credo than it does to, you know, where I go to school. It's, I definitely feel like it's a big family. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also like really excited to see everything. I am like really, really nervous to be here. <laughs> I don't really like stepping out of my comfort zone, and this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm also really excited. I'm so excited to be back. Last year was really amazing, and it changed me in a lot of ways because I was so outside of my comfort zone, and I had to work so hard, and it was an encouragement to be around other really good musicians who serve the Lord. It was the first um, summer that I sort of spent away from my family, and so those three weeks were really scary and then I just felt really comfortable and integrated and welcomed into this community. I've only been to Credo one other time and that was four years ago, but that was a really life-changing summer for me being at Credo and I've been wanting to come back as a counselor since then. It almost feels like family every summer. I've been coming back for the past 17 years and we make music together and we teach together and we catch up on each other's lives and so um, and that's certainly faculty, but it's students who come back year after year um, who are you know, a short portion of that, that long period, but they're part of the family, and so I think that's, that's a real special thing about it. The first word, actually, that would come out of my mouth for what someone would expect at Credo is um, love, because Credo is so loving, and it, as soon as you walk in, you just feel like a family. You feel loved. And that's another thing I love about Credo.